Now it did mention about properly closing windows and programs. At this point, uh, this is something that's not too great about Mac, but on the top left hand side, you guys will see this, right? And I did tell you that to close any windows, you would need to do that. Yes and no. So for programs such as Google Chrome, if you do that, it's not really closed. So I'm gonna tap right there, tap here. I'm gonna close everything. And you might notice on the bottom, you're gonna see Google Chrome with this dot below it, right? The same thing goes with Safari right here. I don't really have any other apps that are open. So although I closed them technically, they're not really closed, they're kind of minimized. So to actually close those apps, we do have to press Command Q or just quit them. So I'm gonna open up Google Chrome again. So here's Google Chrome and to properly close an app such as Google Chrome, any program, like I mentioned before, you would do Command Q to actually close it and quit it. Or you can always tap up here you're going to see Chrome, for example, or whichever program it is. So just tap on it. And if you scroll all the way down, you're going to see quit. So you guys can quit Google Chrome or quit any app for that matter. Or again, you guys can always press Command Q on your keyboard. So I'm going to do that. And as you may notice, if I look down again, I'm not going to see that dot underneath it. And that's because it's no longer opened at all. It's fully closed. So that's how to fully close any applications, programs, right here on your Mac. Anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.